Hello everybody. Some of you may have um, may remember this little gift bag I made some time ago using my beautiful products from Crafty Me Shop. And what I decided to do was to make a journal that goes inside of this little bag. I do have a tutorial on making this bag. Um, I think it's just the base of the bag. No decorating, but just how to make it. And I thought I would make a little journal to fit inside. And it is a snug fit, um, but it does fit. And the way to get it out is just hold on to this little bow and just give it a little wiggle. And there you have the journal. So I'll just put the bag to one side there. And I'll put a link to that bag in the description box below if anybody wants to see that. Um, and this is the little journal that I've made. I've made it in a circular shape um, so it would go in the bag. And I have used my products from Crafty Me Shop. Um, I have used a paper line that is from Couture Creations. And it is actually a combination of a couple of different paper lines. One is... Heart's Ease Collection is one of them. The other one is, I'll put it on the screen because I think I used like three different, I used scraps from one and um, a couple of others. So I'll put it on the screen which collections I used in this journal. Um, so that's the back. I've stitched a smaller circle within a larger circle. And for all the circles that I've used in this, I just, I used my Creative Memory Circle Cutters. I just found that they were the easiest and quickest way of cutting the circles. Um, so it, it's like a soft cover. This is the spine here. This is one of the beautiful trims from Crafty Me Shop. I have a picture hanger up the top there. And where the screw normally goes, I have put a brad through it and it goes all the way through the spine to the center there. I've just tied off some, a scrap of lace and some tool and seam binding onto that. I was going to put this little dangle on there as well, but it just seemed a bit bulky. So I have pinned that little dangle to that lace at the top and that is just a little tool flower, a pearl from Crafty Me Shop. The pearls that I've used are from this beautiful pearl piece that I um, used on the bag. I've still got some of those pearls left, so I've used them on here. So let's see. On the front cover here, we have the beautiful pleated chill trim that I got from Crafty Me Shop. I did coffee stain it a little bit just to take the brightness out a bit and to give it that old look so that that's not dirty that's just the the coffee staining I did this flower is made from that tool and this flower is made from that tool on this dangle there is this lovely piece of trim I, I don't have any of that left now just a couple of like off cut bits and that's the same trim that I've used on the bottom of the bag there I've gone all the way around with this gorgeous pearl trim and that is from Crafty Me Shop also. It's beautiful. It's on a um, cotton uh, foundation. It's really, really lovely little trim, that one. I've put my own floral trim over the top. I have some applique piece left from making the bag. And these pieces here. I've used that here. These are the flowers from these pink trim. Um, I've got three of those. I have this beautiful purple applique piece here from Crafty Me Shop. I printed out my own journal um, tag there. I have this little flower and that was made using the off cut from the boxes I decorated from some lace from Crafty Me Shop. So I did use the off cuts that I put to one side from making the boxes. So I've got that flower there and that flower there. Also another pearl from there, a little sequined centerpiece there. And oh, and I have this beautiful flower under here. I think I've got another one here, just a moment. Here we go. 
I do. Got all my mess under there. This one here, I did slightly tea stain it. It comes in a pure white. There's beautiful sequins and no sequins, sorry, just beading on it. It's absolutely lovely. So I've got that there as well. And you can just catch pieces of those beads glimmering. And I think that's it for the front cover. Underneath that tool, though, I did put some of my own lace, vintage ruffled lace, just to soften the edges. And that's what it looks like. On the back, I also used the pleated tool trim. I put some a part of that tool trim and used it for the closure along with my own tool as well. And I think I've covered everything now. I do have a couple of vintage um, fabric flowers in there as well. So we'll just open it up now. And it is quite full. It's hard to stop once you get started. But um, here we go. So, And this is done in the hollow spine method. And this is the journal. So we have a front pocket here with some of the beautiful trim from Crafty Me Shop. In the pocket here, I just have a circle journal spot. Lots of stitching. Not every page is decorated. Not every page is stitched. Um, just to add a bit of variety. This is just a, a circle folded up like a little envelope. And that tucks in there. Oh, with just a, a circle on the front there as well. I have an off cut here now there's a lot of this it's like a mesh tool kind of fabric and it's actually the off cuts where's that piece oh here we go when I covered the boxes one of the boxes see this is the the fabric here and it's really really wide I had quite a big piece of the top of that that meshy part left so I've used that in the journal I absolutely love this um, so that's it ruffled up there. Um, this is from the paper collection. This one here. I wish I knew what it was. Collection. So that's what they're from. And the, all these little cutouts there as well with a bit of book paper. I used my little flower punch and made lots of flowers because I like to do that. I have this trim here from Crafty Me Shop. Absolutely beautiful trim. Make sure I got it the right way. So I've used some of this throughout the journal as well. So that's the first page there with stitching. We have another pocket on this page and there's a journal tag there. And that is, um, it has seam binding around the edge of it. And I've just used the, what is that? That is the mercury glass stickles in the center of the little flowers not in the center of all of them but in the center of some so that goes in there that's that lovely lace trim there we have another little tag here like that in that pocket and just a little fabric flower there i have this paper and i don't know what kind of paper that is it is a it's a i think a japanese paper i found it at the op shop but I, of course i I can't read what the label says it is, so but it you can write on it, and I've tea stained that, so that's it. It's got a nice texture to it, but it's not baking paper. Um, so we have another collage here with offcuts of the beautiful um, this pink trim here, and under here with another journal spot in there. Lots of stitching more of the ruffled fabric from the lace just another journal spot there and some of that um the off cut of the lace across there with this beautiful beautiful blue applique piece i've cut it up and used it throughout the journal as well it's not an applique so it's a lace piece but you can use it like appliques it's really really beautiful if you go and see my uh, design package, you will see it in there. Little daisies, more of that Japanese paper. A beautiful piece of lace trim, and that is, I think I tea stained that one as well. It's really pretty. We have a couple of little tags in here, and that's more of that um, pleated tulle. 
So I'm going to sit in there like that. And I used the thicker paper once again and I think that's what I'll be using from now on in my journals because although they're thicker I think they're more durable and I like that so I've used larger daisy punch but I didn't put anything in all of the flowers because you know otherwise it's they're all the same. This is a large paper doily and it's actually too stuck together to give it a bit more strength and then I just cut it out to the shape of the page like that and when you go to the other side you'll see the where it continues around like that and that's more of that beautiful trim there uh, it's it's not a pocket it's just to decorate the page more of that um, Japanese paper and a small doily in the center there and then we go back and there's the other part of the large doily there There's some more of that beautiful blue lace and that was slightly tea stained as well. And graph paper, beautiful pink trim. And two more little tags, oh, two little tags in there and they're all backed with tea stained paper and they're, um, this is a leftover corner piece from um, another journal I made. Then these are all just little circles that you can write little messages or you know little secrets on or something like that and I've just put those together with a brad and they go in there like that. More of that paper. A journal tag there and then another little journal tag on that side and that is more of that lace mesh just covering that and that's stitched on. So that goes in there with a little bit of sari silk, a bit of um, cheesecloth, more scraps of the lace from Crafty Me Shop there. Another journal tag there. there. And this one which looks like it got a bit bent which is not real good. This is just a series of circles in different sizes and I have stitched around every second one held together with a bit of tulle and that goes in that pocket there like that. I just have to make sure that's tucked down. More of that beautiful trim there. And then we have some more of that this lovely um, mesh and I've just sewn that and scrunched it in the gully there and our second signature now I did write down how many pages were in this just let me get that piece of paper for you we have okay so there's two signatures and there's 44 writable pages so that this I wouldn't consider a writable page you know it's a decorator page but this you can write on that and you can write on that so they're writable so 88 writable pages plus all the tags and things like that in the journal that's the collage on the front with more of the lace there's some more of those circles in that one another tag there and the scrap lace there I used some scraps that I had in my snips jar as well these are all crafty me shop off cuts in here that I um, take scraps from when I need them. More of that Japanese paper. Another journal tag there. And a collage of um, lace pieces there. And scrunched up. Another tag there. And I hope everybody's um, keeping well. More of that beautiful blue. I love that. Um, keeping well and keeping themselves occupied. It's a busy time of year and we mustn't get stressed. <laughs> I keep saying to myself, I think at my age I'd have this down pat, you know, this whole Christmas thing. But there's always something we forget at the last minute, isn't there? So, and this may be the last, um, this is the probably the last Crafty Me Shop project for this year. 
um, because I'll be working on my precious on my collage book after Christmas between Christmas and the New Year. So and then I'll do more projects in January. That's another large doily piece there. So I've got I've got things on the go. I've made a couple of Christmas stockings, but I've got to fill them, so, and they're going to people, but they won't get them before Christmas, unfortunately, but they will get them. <laughs> They'll be going out in January. Um, another repeat of before those little circles to journal on, a couple of tags there, in that little, I think it's just a corner piece, more of the lace. Another one like that. Another little tag there. Another one of those beautiful applique pieces. A journal, journal spot there with sari silk around it. A tag in that pocket there. I think that's got scraps left from my, oh no, I started another book, didn't I? I finished the Secret Garden one, so now I am going through this one, Reader's Digest. We've started ripping pages out of that one now, and it's really, look at the colour of these pages. Okay, that's really nice looking pages. On that one, not quite as brittle as the Secret Garden ones because it's not as old, so I don't think I don't know what date is on it. Um, so that's that more of that beautiful trim around the bottom there. And the last page that's the back, and we just have another journal tag and another faux like little envelope thing there, and tucks in there like that, ruffled fabric, and that beautiful. Um, this one's off a, I think I've got a piece of that left, it's beautiful, it was like, it's like a collar piece, like a V, so I've cut some up and I've got that little piece there left for another project. So that is the journal that I've made to go in my little um, gift bag here. Um, I think I'm selling this one. I think I'm selling this one. So uh, if you're interested, I'll put a link to my Etsy store in the description box below. It, just give it a nice tug like that. And a bow. Once the bow is tied, then you can fluff all the bits up. It looks quite pretty just poking out of the bag um, like that yeah yeah it looks nice and pretty with all the little roughly bits and things there we go and I couldn't put dangles or things like that on this one simply because it had you know I wanted it to fit in the bag and to get it in the bag it is a bit of a squeeze but it's tied nice and tightly so you just hold on to it and you give it a little wiggle and it goes in. Once it's in it's fine just have those things poking out the top there it looks really pretty and like I said before um, to take it out just hold on to the bow give it a little wiggle like that. Everything is quite securely glued on to the front here so you know nothing should pop off or anything like that. I did use a really good glue. What did I use? Quick dry adhesive Helma and that's a really good glue so there we go. I hope you enjoyed this and I really hope everybody has a lovely Christmas or holiday time whether you do or whether you don't celebrate Christmas in itself I hope everybody stays very safe and has a happy time and um, is keeping well um, like I said I'm not sure whether there'll be any more videos up before Christmas now 
um, maybe maybe not so I, I don't know there's not many days to go is there so I'll put all the links in the description box below to Crafty Me Shop it is a Facebook shop and um, it is done through sales rather than having a store where you just pick from things it's done by live sales or live auction type things so beautiful products though absolutely beautiful products so take care everybody and thank you so much for watching bye bye